Tennessee Democratic lawmakers reaching out to the U.S. Department of Justice to investigate what they call violations of the Voting Rights Act. In a letter, lawmakers asking the Department of Justice to look into Tennessee's process of restoring voting rights to people with felony records. Six on your side reporter Ella Wales found out why these leaders believe it is flawed and joins us now. Ella. That's right, Lori. Felons seeking to restore their voting rights will have to restore their gun rights first, a requirement that Democrats say disenfranchises people. It's a clear overreach and not how uh, the law is intended uh, to work. Representative Sam McKenzie is just one of 22 Democratic lawmakers asking the Department of Justice to investigate the restoration of voting rights process in Tennessee. This comes after Attorney General Jonathan Scrimetti issued an opinion that now requires those with felony records to regain their gun rights before they can restore their voting rights. These are people that have paid their debt to society. They, they've served and they need to come back and become integrated into into back into the, the real world, you know, and voting is a huge part of that. The letter states that Secretary of State Trey Hargett has imposed a, quote, illegal de facto procedure, unquote. Dr. Marco Gorman, a political science professor at Maryville College, explains that once an attorney general issues an opinion, it becomes standing law. In this case, now that this new law has been put in place as a result of the attorney general, the secretary of state is under a mandate or under an expectation to, in, to implement that law. Hargett responded to the letter in a statement saying, quote, Tennesseans should not be surprised that some want to weaponize the Department of Justice against the state ranked number one in election integrity, unquote. O'Gorman expects the DOJ Civil Rights Division to step in. Anytime a state changes its voting laws that could be perceived as a voting restriction, then you're impacting civil rights. Um, we, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, you're also running up against in terms of whether this is an uh, appropriate or an over interpretation of recent Supreme Court decisions. This becomes, yes, a federal issue. McKenzie hoping the federal government will side with the Democrats. The tie it to something like a gun right where, you know, it's going to disproportionately affect people of color. Uh, it's going to be just a horrible a hurdle because a lot of the felons, they that when they get out, they still can't own weapons. So uh, it's just a really, really bad interpretation. Multiple other policy changes for voting rights restoration were implemented in July, though the opinion regarding gun rights wasn't made until January. Since July, only nine people in Tennessee have regained voting rights.